cereal on a ratchet, you gotta scratch it like dish jocks. I got my feet in the street, but I keep it hip hop. I heard they got some paperwork on you like clips pop. And bitch, you could get rocked in Philly if you get killed. Blow ethics on a podcast in the light. So I'm saying, homie, who got compassion for a nigga whose son got playing gangster, talking gangster, and the dad is still acting gangster? Who got compassion when y'all didn't have no compassion for Miss Dominique, Tuka's mother? So, man, f*** that nigga and anybody who mad about what I'm saying. My tune ain't changed. I've been saying f*** dead rapper nigga kids. I said f*** Nipsey Hussle. I said f*** oh, King Vaughn. Philly is more segregated than the South. Philly, Philly conditions, if you stay for three days, is depressing conditions. Very depressing. Uh, it's like the walking dead. And that's outside of Kingston. I rode through there. Oh, you talking about you talking about Kensington? Yeah, Kensington. So it's, it's not a vibrant place. I'm a vibrant nigga. I like strip clubs. Philly ain't got no motherfucking strip club. They got a few of them. Nigga, they ain't got like what we know. It, it ain't like ecstasy and shit like that, nah. That's what I'm saying. So, so to come from the South in such a in, in a metropolitan area like Dallas, Fort Worth, to go to Philly, you wouldn't want to stay long because just the visual environment, just the the, the visual of how the environment looks, homie. It looks gloomy. The buildings are old. And I'm saying, I'm saying this when I was there. How can anybody thrive here? Look at these conditions. How can it look at the kids, homie? And, and, and the violence, the violence amongst the youth is unlike no other. So if that's the case, then the future for Philly doesn't look bright. Because the children are 100% of the future. So when you look at the condition that these children are born and grow up in, you look at the lack of resources in these conditions, you look at the despair. Homie, who's gonna be who's gonna thrive out of those conditions? Who's gonna make it out of those conditions? So the city don't put back into the infrastructures. When you look at the grassroots organizations, they're not getting a lot of funding for after school. Homie, I studied that shit. Remember, I was going to go back and do trash pickup. Remember, I was going to partner with Allen Iverson, Big Reed, to come do community work there. So I started studying the conditions. Wallow and Gilly trying to go do prison reform. While uplifting gangster codes, rules, and ethics on a podcast.